This is a demo of the application called Mantis Bug Tracker. It is an open source tool that was released in 2000. So it's been around for 15 years and it's completely free. And it has similar capabilities as ALM and Jira and the other big uh, defect management tools. And uh, it is a very easy to use application. It's not as, you know, the graphic is not as nicely pretty design as ALM or other tools but it does have a lot of useful information and you can actually customize a lot of things. Even you can customize the logo, like every field, permissions, anything you can think of, you can pretty much customize. Um, especially if you know, there is a lot of options you can use, uh, like customization, doing using the menu button, but if you know some PHP code or know how to you know, copy and borrow code, you can actually do a lot of different things. And the reporting capabilities is very good. Um, you can actually, do a lot of different custom reports. Um, you can filter and then just report that filter, whatever you filtered. Um, and you can actually, uh, you know, there are also plugins supported, so you can actually use different plugins to pull different, you know, reports. Or you can do like, for example, I use the plugin to um, integrate with Slack. So you can actually, um, right now I'm working on that, but there's a lot of options basically. And right now this is hosted on my own server, so you can actually access it from anywhere, just type in this and slash mentis. And you can actually also host it on the cloud if you want, on their cloud, um, if, if you desire that option. So let's get started. We can uh, go ahead and log in. So this is the uh, dashboard, like the home page, pretty much. And you can see it looks very simple, but there's a lot of useful information here. Um, we have assigned defect to me, you know, reported by me, uh, recently modified, unassigned, resolved, and more. You can actually customize this view as well. And everything is color coded here. You can see new, feedback, resolved. Um, there is, uh, you can see the severity level is right here. Lo um, attachment is there. You can actually see the attachment. So here's the defect. You, know, you can see uh, it's a normal field, and each field is customizable. So you can add more fields for the defect. So let's go back here. And uh, the public and private, the log, log icon, it basically controls who can see the defects and uh, who can modify it, things of that nature. Uh, and it's highly customizable, so you can control everything. You can only make the test to see what defects they opened or make, let them see every defect. Uh, you can have multiple projects, so if you want to see another project, just select from the top. Um, and let's see. So you also have, so if you, can view all the issues so you can see there's filter options so you can see if you just click on Excel report this will generate a report out of all of these all the defects but if you have um, let's say you want to see the status only the new defects I can click that apply filter and I can actually just report that the Excel report open and there you have it and um, you can also do um, let's see so you can do advanced filters. There's another option. You can have more fields. Um, and then you can see a summary, for example. It's a nice dashboard. You can you know, print that out if needed. Um, you know, bug status, new, assigned, bug by severity, by category. And you can print it from here. Um, and like I said, there's options that you can manage. Like as admin, I can manage users, uh, assign roles, permissions, uh, a lot of stuff. And then I think there's a roadmap option. That's what that'll be a plugin you can use. Um, change logs, so different logs. You can actually get plugins for that to be able to enable these issues. So let's jump into um, another thing is anything you change, you can actually configure the email settings, who gets what emails. So if I go to manage configuration, email notification, you can you know select all these different options. Um, so let's say this user right here. This is actually just a normal reporter, so they can only see four defects because that's only four they opened. Uh, the other ones they're not gonna able to re re you know see. They cannot edit. It. They're not allowed to edit a defect or delete one because um, see they can only copy, add notes, attach, update issue types. Yeah, you know, because I allowed them to do those features only. Um, so let's say reporting an issue is very simple. You select the category page. Um, with whatever they want, summary, description, um, and then just submit. Once you submit it, um, they, they will get an email. Um, so it's done. 
the whoever you know is monitoring the item or the administrators will get an email the managers wh whatever you assign um, so for example for that I have um, if I go to here this is the email account I made for our capital crowds as you can see new defect is submitted um, it gives all the information you can actually customize what information you send out as well um, and then let's see so other than that, I mean, there is not much to it. I mean, this is really a powerful tool that we can leverage, especially for crowd crowdsource testing. We can actually keep this in one of our servers, and this will be safe, um, and it's very highly customizable. We can pretty much manipulate any way we want. So this is in pl so plus this is completely free, so we don't really need a budget for our tool. Um, you know, if I play around with it more, I can learn how to customize a lot of different uh, things. I already know some stuff, but yeah, overall, I think this is much better than the lean testing option. Um, so just because this is actually a stable version, there is not really any bugs. Um, yeah.